Hello, everybody. It's me. I'm back. Yes, it's the Valentine's edition. <gasps> yeah. <clears throat> anyway, I'm going to make one particular point before I really get started. Now, there are some really, really nifty colors you can find in some of the palettes. The problem with the colors is that some of them are big, chunky, glittery things. And that can be a problem all the way around. I mean, I've got some stuff in my little collection that is nothing but chunky glitter. And, you know, you go out and you get yourself your, your glitter glue and you paste the stuff down. And even then, you end up with chunky glitter everywhere. Falling in your eyes, getting all over your face, just everywhere. I mean, like this stuff. It's loose and it's just straight up glitter. And you can get even worse with some of the really, really, really chunky stuff. So, you know, you've got your big night for Valentine's Day. So you pull out all the stops and you get the glitter out because you're going out somewhere special. And then you come home and everybody's all warm and friendly. And they forget that they really should freshen up just a bit. So people with glitter stuck on their face or on their eyelids very often wake up the next day with cornea scratches. And or, you know, a little pink eye or something. And it kind of takes the fun out of the next day. If you are determined to wear chunky glitter as part of your eye makeup or putting it anywhere else on your face, remember, please, to take it off before you go to sleep. Which means if you come home from being out somewhere special, look at your honey and say, sweetheart, I have to go freshen up. And while, while you're doing it, take some of the makeup off. You know, especially worry about the glitters. It just, it just, please, <laughs> please. It's not fun. Speaking from experience? Why, yes, yes, I am. Don't go there. Alrighty. I'm going to get started slapping some stuff on my face. Just because I feel like it. No, I'm not going out anywhere. Not tonight. Not tomorrow night. Our next chance at going out, we have to wait for the tax return to come back. Excuse me, the tax refund. We filed our return. Luckily, since most of Jim's stuff can be accessed, my poor doggy stuff fell down. And she knocked the camera. Now she's upset. Snurf, sputter. Yeah, luckily most of the hubby stuff comes in pretty quick, so we just get it filed with one of the companies that, that you know, does the filing stuff and then sends it off by email and all that. And it's like, and it's wonderful. We don't have to think about it after that. We usually get it in before the end of January, or at least we try. Let's see. 
what am I going to start with? What, 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 what? Looks pretty good. Anyway, anybody else got any special plans? Going out with your honey? Maybe not going out, staying in where it's safe? At this point in the year, we're still never sure when and whether or not it's going to snow again. So, yeah, so on top of the, we got to wait for the refund before we go worry about going out anywhere. That's because the car wanted $700 in repairs. That's half, half the trade in value. <laughs> Anybody want to sell me a decent used car? I'm kidding. Unless you know somebody in southeastern Oregon who's selling a decent used car. I'm looking for something with high mileage. We're out in the middle of BF nowhere. We're out in the high desert area at the foot of the Elkhorn Mountains. So, yeah, if we want to get anything special or do shopping at a big store, there's kind of a big store about 45 minutes away. It's at least a Walmart. We don't have anything like that in this little town. We are not in with the big children. We are sitting and crying out in the wilderness. My honey bunny is in the corner over here and I have the suspicion he thinks he wants to talk to me about something. I'll be right back. Anyway, I'm just kind of futzing along here with stuff. I'm actually using one of the blushes from the Pure Midnight Masquerade in the outer corner here. It just, it's such a pretty color, but it's a blush that definitely would work for somebody with a lot more melanin than I've got. But it's gorgeous, and I'm going... It's now eyeshadow. I have dubbed it eyeshadow because it's gorgeous. And I'm going, you know, it's a pretty kind of a wine red. I can work with that. I can work with that. I know, I've got a pink headband on with little hearts. And my shirt is kind of orange. And my jeans are a really weird red. But I figured... This was a pretty color. I'm going to do it. <laughs> Let's see. Now, there's also a burgundy eyeshadow in here, which is mildly different to cut by color, but not that much. I just kind of wanted to kind of trape some of it in here just for the heck of it. Just a little bit of fiddly shading. A little bit. Anyway. Yeah, usually if we're going to do something for Valentine's Day that includes being out of the house, we do it the day before. We're not crazy about dealing with crazy people. And even though it's Valentine's, I'm already starting to think about what I'm going to do for my Halloween costume. 
And I'm also starting to think, only this is a little more reasonable, I'm starting to think about what I want to do for my Mardi Gras makeup. Because that comes up on the 25th. And then, I need to figure out what I'm going to do for St. Patrick's Day. Yes, I know, it's going to be green. But I want to, I'm, I'm like going green and, and I'm not getting the and what. It just is not coming to me. Now, the Midnight Masquerade. Now, don't look at me funny. You know I'm a cheap something something. This came from a friend on a friend's box. So don't start with me. About the pure palette. little champagne color here. This is also from the Pure Palette. This is one of their highlighters. Because this is a whole... Th th this one has got six eyeshadows and a couple of blushes and a couple of highlighters. There's a blush and a highlighter that work for me in those capacities. The other two definitely, like I said about this this highlighter over here that I use as an eyeshadow, definitely have to be designated for other uses because they just, I'm pasty, these are not for pasty people, which is one of the things that I don't like about palettes that are, you know, they've got everything pretty much because if you happen to get a palette where a bunch of it just is not usable because it's all the wrong shades you know it's 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 kind of annoying just a little and that makes it kind of no fun Alrighty. Let's see where I'm going to go for under. Where am I going to go for under? I'll have to think about that. And I'll have to think about what else I'm going to do to this. Well, all of a sudden, just find my eyebrows. Because every so often you just need to find your eyebrows. If I can find what there it is. My elf pencil. This is still at like, depending on when you get it and where you get it, it's either two or three bucks. But it's still one of my favorite ways to get this done. Now I know some people swear by the pomades and some people don't do their eyebrows without, you know, specific other brands that are more expensive, but I'm like, Gee, this works. <laughs> I'll take it. Let me tell you what can happen when somebody di just distracts you. Alrighty, I will be back. I'm going to go put some more face on and then we'll finish this up. Alrighty, and we're back. We've got my base on, got it powdered a little bit. I'm going to take one of my little sample pots from Tarte and do a little of this. Love my Ipsy bag samples, tiny little things that they are, but uh, some of these things last for bloody ever, even though it's a sample size. I mean, some of the creams and lotions and stuff, yeah, you're only going to get a couple of uses, but some of this other stuff, like, you know, the regular cosmetics and the little compacts, 
you end up getting quite a bit. And especially if you've got a lot of stuff to rotate through, it doesn't go that fast. It really doesn't. And I've got my little tiny sample from Ciate. Now, the way this is done with all the swirlies and stuff, I've got one from AOA Studio, you know, the Dollar Blaze, that it's the same swirls. It really is. It's the same colors and the same swirls. And I'm going, I can do that. Because <laughs> the AOA Studio one is one of my favorites. And... Yeah, it doesn't look quite as pretty now because I've used it. So the swirls aren't quite as defined. But it's still, it's the same colors all over again. Love this stuff. Now, let's see. What am I going to do? No, I don't want to do that. I won't let it use that highlighter on my eyes. Let's see. Here, a little highlighter. What am I going to do this time? Ah, I'm going to, let's see, Nomad. I'm going to use Nomad. Again, it's another one of those ill dinkies. But, I mean, look at that. Look at that. That is absolutely glorious. It's beautiful. And from Nomad, it's the Kiss of Sun Highlighter Balmoral Beach. And it's got just a little bit, it's, it's almost a pink champagne, almost. But you barely have to touch this puff. And you get this absolutely adorable peachy, look at that, shimmer going on. This is one that you can definitely blind the astronauts with. And I like it. There are days I just want to put some lip gloss on and go hi hey, and dust it, you know? It just, yeah. Let's see. What I'm going to, what am I going to put under? Here, under, here, under. Let's just do something silly. red and champagne on, so let's just mess up everybody. And go with this absolutely gorgeous dark blue. And I do mean a gorgeous dark blue. I'll we'll have to check once I go in to do edit to make sure that shows up as a dark blue because on my screen it's in fact showing up as a very bright blue and I'm going but but it it no <laughs> it's dark it's a glorious dark
just a little bit of the silver from also from the Midnight Masquerade on the inner corners and then I'm probably going to pick up another thing and bling it a bit just because corners need blown. Is that a word? I don't care, I'm using it anyway. I think I'm going to bring it with a little bit of my Balmoral Beach. Just right there. Let's see. Put that down. And go digging in all my pencils. All my pencils. Here, pencils. Let's see. Do I want to do the pencils? Or do I want to... No, I've already done the cream eyeliner stuff and if I'm in an actual mood to get things done the cream eyeliner stuff is not my best idea because I get fussy with it and it takes forever to get my brush just the way I want it and it, I'm picky all right I'm picky I admit it Yes, I have a new $1 fan. This one came from Shop AOA rather than Dollar Tree. If I'm looking for something specific, I'll do, go check Dollar Tree. If I don't see it, I'll check Shop AOA. Sometimes they have enough of a difference that I can find something really, really cool. So far, so good. Okay. Got some other stuff that came in in the Ipsy bag. Let me see. I've never heard of Scone. S-K-O-N-E. Makeup. They sent a Scone eyeliner. And this thing has got a puny, little, tiny, fine tip. And I mean, fine. <laughs> But it's called Insanely Intense Tattooed Eyeliner. And it's supposed to be waterproof. We'll see. Because the only thing I've done prior to, to opening it this time was I did this a couple of days ago when it came in. So, you know. Let's see. Please remember, if your hands are not the steadiest, and you don't feel comfortable going just swipe one line, it is perfectly acceptable to go in little segments until you get where you are going. You do not have to do a single sweep. I have lousy, shaky hands that do not appreciate trying to do the single sweep. So I do this like this. And eventually get where I'm going. And then I sneak up on the mirror and see if I did anything really horrendously awful. Okay. Time for a little mascara. No, I'm not putting lashes on. You know dang good and well, I rarely put them on. And currently, it's a little late at night to be bothering. 
So, yeah, no lashes. Just wash the mascara off later. You know how that goes. I have got to go back to using one of those eyelash serums. I really do. I ran out of one. Ran out of a second one. And the new one's come in. I just haven't gotten back into remembering to do it because I had almost a week and a half off waiting for the delivery. And, you know, we can have, you can get right out of habit. Right out. Way out. Doodly do. Doodly do. Doodly doodly do. Okay, let's see. Which one am I gonna do this time? Hmm. No. I've gotten a bunch of new stuff in. Again, you know, the, the... The Ipsy bags and all that stuff going on. Yes, I stuck my face right up in the camera looking for the lipstick. Now, this one is from Bella Pierre Cosmetics. And the color is called Envy. Here we go again with kind of a brownie nude. <laughs> but I wanted to try it because I haven't tried it yet other than to just, you know, squish a little on my hand and see if it even goes on nicely. Kind of smells a little. A little vanilla. Almost like cake icing. Alrighty. Not bad. Not flashy, but not bad. There we go. Squanch. No, I didn't set it today. It's not going to be fluffy. I wasn't even sure I was going to get this done. I've been in the middle of writing a big chunk of novel as part of my current college course. And my last course was professored by a writer that I'm aware of that I've read that I like. So I had to show that professor my work. I have a similar situation this time. <clears throat> it's another writer that I'm aware of, that I've read. And on top of that, she plays my video game. She plays World of Warcraft. <laughs> so, she's now looking at my stuff. You know, some of this can get a little tense. It really can. However, let me give this one more little spray. Anyway, since I've currently got an A in the class, I'm not going to scream too hard, yeah? I'm actually rather pleased with that. Anyway, here we go. Quiet night for Valentine's. I promise I'll get a little more rowdy when we get to Mardi Gras. Anyway, have fun with your honey. Or have fun on your own if you don't got some honey that you want to go share today with. Remember, there is no bail money. I don't have that kind of budget. Be good. <laughs>